Hi, this is Paul. I've got some more information on Melbourne. Still trying to learn to say the word right. Uh, the event is coming up March 30, 2019. Actually, I just made some comments about this event with Cord, a conversation I posted just prior to posting this video. Now, uh, when the when the event organizers put this event together, the, the hope was that Peterson and John Anderson and I could do a video conversation together. That did not happen. And I made some comments about that in my conversation with Cord. It's all good. Except if, if anyone in seeing this material thought that Jordan Peterson was going to be there, or Jonathan, John Anderson might be there. I talked to him yesterday, and I actually recorded a little conversation with him. I actually, more, it's more like an interview, and I'll be playing segments of that at the event. Uh, John Anderson says that if he's in Melbourne, that he'll, he'll come by, but he's not sure. It's a fair distance away from where he lives. So it'll be just me. And so the event organizers wanted me to say in a video that if, if anybody signed up thinking that thinking that it was Jordan Peterson or John Anderson were going to be live, and that's the reason you're going there, you can still get your money back, okay? You can still get your money back. Um, if you're coming there to, to, to see me, I will be there. That's the, <laughs> that's the thing. And I'll be, giving, I'll be giving three talks like I talked about before. There, there are also a bunch of other opportunities to hang with me while I'm in Melbourne. I'm not going halfway across the world just to be all by myself. Actually, one of my sons will be with me. And if you've met me at other meetups, um, you'll know my son that often travels with me when I do these things. But Friday the 29th, uh, Friday evening reception event, drinks and finger food at Oscar's Table Restaurant. That's 50 New Quay Promenade Docklands, 7 to 9 p.m. It's open to all by your and my invitation. So if you're watching this video and you're in, you may certainly come in. It's $20 per person cash for food plus uh, buy your own drinks at the bar. So I don't know what kind of, I don't know what kind of space they have. So if you're interested in this, maybe leave a comment and and we can and we can we can know so i don't i don't know anybody else in melbourne and, and except a bunch of you that have commented and wanted to meet with me so i will be there at oscar's table restaurant in in docklands i have no idea where any of this stuff is because i've never been to melbourne before so there you have it parking's in the docklands car park so um that's friday evening 7 to 9 p.m Saturday is the event itself, and the conference is at the St. James Old Cathedral, uh, the corner of King and Batman. Isn't that cool? Batman Street. Batman Street, Streets, uh, West Melbourne. Melbourne. I'm still trying to learn to say that word. Uh, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., lunch is provided. So if you haven't, there'll be, if you haven't signed up yet and registered, the, uh, the registration links will be in the comments of this video. Then Sunday the 31st at 7 to 8 p.m. Um, now there, I haven't really taught, I haven't really gotten much take on exactly what this meeting is going to be about, but I will be speaking in it and I will be there. And that will be also at St. James Conference Center, which I think is right next to the church in, in Melbourne. So 7 to 8 p.m. Sunday the 31st that evening. And then Monday the 1st, there's a meetup that that there's a Jordan Peterson meetup in Melbourne that's been happening and they contacted me and I put the people together who are organizing the conferences with the people that have the meetup so we'll be doing a meetup and people had some questions about how I run meetups and what the kinds of things we do at the last meetup I did in Southern California we had a question and answer so maybe we'll do some of that too so meet at St. James Old Cathedral Conference Center. I think that's the same place as the night before. 6 to 8 p.m. Be coffee, tea, and biscuits. I'm going to have to learn a whole new language out there in Australia, but I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Now, as I mentioned before, in my talk there, I will have clips from my conversation with James Anderson. And it was really more of an interview. And I, James, has talked to Jordan Peterson on a few events and... And a lot of my questions were I wanted to get sent some of his take on it, as I do with many of you who contact me and want to do a conversation with me. I wanted to do a conversation with them, him and get a sense of what he's interested in and why he finds Jordan Peterson important. So we did that in our conversation and it will debut at the event itself. Woohoo! So, you know, something to look forward to if you're in Melbourne and I'll talk to the It'll probably, it'll get out on the internet one way or another. I'm planning on recording these talks, so 
will I'll, you know these people are bringing me over there so I'll have to get their permission but they're they're a good bunch of blokes and uh, I'm sure we'll at some point what I do at this conference will be shared now what's interesting is that one of the things that I've noticed say in Jonathan Peugeot's channel when I when I decided to do videos I decided to use this format because I think uh, actually YouTube is a little like television and it's a lot about the face and so that's why I set up this as it is and that's why I keep my sermons and my Sunday school class over on the church channel because I think actually way far away you lose interest pretty quick uh, from the audience I think that's a function of the medium so the three top talks I'll be doing is a voice a voice in the nihilistic wilderness healing depression over YouTube finding the unknown God that everyone unconsciously assumes and few can name what does it feel like when heaven and earth touch the sacrament of meaning so those are the three talks that I'll be given and I'll have clips from James Anderson and I'm going to use some clips from from Jordan Peterson as illustrations and probably some clips from my conversations that are on my YouTube channel so I'll probably have some video clips I'll be doing as I do on my YouTube channel I'll be doing some commentary um, there'll be plenty of time for question and answers there's going to be breakout groups again I think one of the key if you go to a Jordan Peterson event, one of his book tour events, one of the things you don't get a chance to do is talk to other people much unless you come with them or go to meet up before or after. And, and that's one of the dynamics that I've seen has been missing in, in this, which is why I'm such a promote proponent of doing meetup groups. Because I think actually if you sit and you listen to a talk, you're, you're not going to be able to actually absorb it and integrate it and and apply it that that talking function is really vital to, to listen to something to talk about it to internalize it to shape it so there'll be there'll be chance for that at this at this conference it'll be an all-day conference I'm really looking forward to it I'm really looking forward to meeting a number of you some of you I've been I've been chatting with on you know, one way or another over for a whole number of months and you live across the world and I frankly thought I'd never get a chance to meet any of you but a bunch of you I'm going to get a chance to meet so we'll take we'll take pictures and we'll have a good time and I'm really looking forward to it here are the details and I will put these links in the notes section so if you haven't signed up yet sign up there's still room available I don't think they're going to fill the place. I I sometimes worry that the that the event organizers thought that that doing this there would be mobs of people, but I I know there won't be mobs of people because you can see me every week in Sacramento and they're not mobs of people. So, but but I'm anticipating a terrific event and a great opportunity to meet to talk about a lot of this Jordan Peterson stuff that I talked about on my channel. And again, what I'm part of what I'm hoping to do is really be able to I've been doing so much processing is to be able to come down to some conclusions and put things in a in a usable form there are a number of people at the conference too that that haven't had anywhere near the deep dive and exposure and immersion into the Jordan Peterson stuff that many of you have had via the channel so I, I'm gonna have to take that into consideration when I, I put these I've actually got the the talks outlined already but I'm assembling clips and, and doing all those kinds of things. So again, uh, these are the, if you want to, there's a Friday, there's a Friday dinner thing, uh, drinks and finger foods, then the Saturday event, nine to six, and then Sunday, an event at the church, um, uh, at the St. James Conference Center next to the cathedral, and then Monday, a meetup at the conference center next to the cathedral. So those will be the times. Now, I've never been to Melbourne before, so those of you from there or are familiar with Melbourne, I'm going to have some time to do some sightseeing. So put in the comments section where I should prioritize my time. What in and around the city should I pay attention to and explore in the little bit of sightseeing I, time that I have available to me? Also, I do on the way back over have a layover in Honolulu and I have a member of my church who's Hawaiian and she said go to Pearl Harbor so um, I'll probably with my son be booking out of the airport and finding a way over to Pearl Harbor and check out the uh, check out the National Park at Pearl Harbor and so I'm really looking forward to this trip so those of you who I'll meet there I'll meet there I don't know how many I've got some videos conversation videos in the can that I'll be putting out so the channel will be a little bit silent while I'm gone and you know I hear a complaint about Jordan Peterson and his tour now I'm gonna to do the same thing but um, hopefully I'll be here when I get back 
and I'm probably going to have a whole bunch of new thoughts and ideas to say. So thanks for watching.